स्टार्ट करें क्या यस यस मैडम shall we yes ma'am yeah good morning to one and all and wishing you good health and healthy environment i dr reena meshram on behalf of post graduate department of chemistry and iqsc nabira mahavidyalay katol welcome you all on the 10th day and the last day of our 10 days like national lecture series on this beautiful day of lecture series we are privileged to have the illustrious speaker dr nilesh ugemuge and sir is going to deliver a talk on the topic synthesis and characterization of phosphors for optoelectronic applications welcome sir now to give the brief introduction of our today's guest i would like to request dr ishant dhadade associate professor department of physics nabira mahavidyalay katol to introduce our guest over to you sir dr ishant dhadade Thank you, ma'am. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Okay. So, welcome. Good afternoon to one and all. Before we start today's session, actually, it is the last uh, lecture today. Let me introduce our guest. Today we have with us a towering personality, not only in the world of physics. but also in multi dimensional branches including administration and management heartily welcome dr nilesh ugemuge sir dr nilesh ugemuge presently working as a as an assistant professor in physics at anand niketan college anand one varora district chandrapur since uh, 25th november 2019 at the college he also holds the responsibilities of associate coordinator iqsc under net certified trainer with skill india he started his academic journey just after completing msc as a lecturer in applied physics at st vincent pelloti college of engineering and technology from 2008 to february 2010 then he joined priyadarshini college of engineering nagpur and here he promoted to head department of applied physics from july 2018 to august 2019 during his tenure at priyadarshini college of engineering he was coordinator iit bombay remote center for IST workshops under NMEICT Ministry of HRD Government of India he also work as a faculty advisor IST student chapter student coordinator and many more dr nilesh sir did his phd in physics under the guidance of professor sc mohril sir former professor and head post graduate teaching department in physics rtm in nagpur his topic of research was synthesis and characterization of chloride by solid state metastasis he also did phd in management on the topic organization behavior under the supervision of dr shiny chip director datta mege institute of management studies nagpur now his long list of educational qualification includes post graduate diploma in human research management pgd hrm from mahatma gandhi labor institute ahmedabad mirpm from rashtrasan tukloji maharaj nagpur university msw from rashtrasan tukloji maharaj nagpur university ma economics ma public administration bed all this from rashtra sant tukloji maharaj nagpur university he also did certificate and diploma course in vedic mathematics from kavi kulguru kalidas sanskrit university ramtek he had cleared ugc net also maharashtra level set in social work 
in June 2016 and uh, 17. He also cleared UGC net in labor welfare in multiple times, more than uh, I, I think 10 times. In his credit, he had participated in various specialized courses like faculty development program, entrepreneurship development program organized by premier institutes like NPTEL, Swayam, etc. He had published number of books of national repute useful for BE first year and various competitive examination like UGC net. He had contributed book chapter of national and international repute. Dr. Ubi Muge edited books with the Himalaya publish, uh, Publishing House in Physics for the pass and honors degree classes of Barampur University, Bhubaneswar, Orissa. Also edited management books for the Bharti Vidyapit Pune, Utkal University, Orissa, Amity University, Uttarakhand University. He had successfully completed the project on preparation and characterization of Nasicon for CO2 gas sensor by melt quenching method at Material Science Laboratory, Department of Physics, RTM Nagpur University, Nagpur. He is a reviewer of various international journals, including Elsewhere. He had contributed more than 23 research paper in international journals and contributed more than 25 research paper in national international conferences. Besides, he had organized various faculty development pro program, workshops, seminars, value added courses, etc. He had received grant around 16 lakh under various projects. He also applied the grant, uh, applied for the grant to serve DST and either funded projects. Last but not the least, he is an evaluator of PhD thesis conducted open defense viva, external examiner, expert on various university related panels and various university related work. He is a life member of reputed associations like Luminescence Society of India, LSI, Indian Society for Technical Education, IST, CTE, Gondwana University Young Teachers Association, Indian Science Congress Association, Indian Society for Training and Development, ISTD, and many more. We are fortunate enough to have a, such a knowledge-rich and dynamic personality with us. Welcome, Dr. Nilesh sir, for his speech. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Hello. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Th thank you, sir. Thank you. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, <coughs> excuse me. I would like to share my screen. Yes, sir. I can proceed. Okay. Is it visible? Uh, yes, sir. It is visible. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good afternoon to one and all uh, present here. Uh, my respected uh, uh, dear Dr. Nilesh Gandhare, sir. Uh, Dr. Ishan Dadade, sir. Uh, and the faculty members, principal of these institutions and other faculty members from these institutions and uh, last time i think before corona i have visited nabira mahavidyalaya and uh, delivered a offline session so really it was a great journey and great time for me and now sir has invited again to deliver session on a very prominent topic and again this is the area of research of mine so just i, I just i'm trying to share the ideas on this particular topic so that uh, some of the clues will be getting to the students and that is what the purpose of today's talk. Uh, basically, I am a motivational speaker and again the corporate trainer. So beyond that, now just I am moving to uh, the my core research area. Sir has given task because of that. 
तो आई मे बी समाइम मीन्स आई मे और मे नॉट जस्टिफाई विद दिस टॉपिक आई डोंट नो बट आई विल ट्राई एट माई लेवल बेस्ट सर सो वंस अगेन थैंक यू एवरी वन फॉर दिस काइंड इन्विटेशन so friends uh, uh, sir uh, just one thing uh, let me ask you uh, all are the msc students pg students some are msc students some are researchers sir okay some are researchers that's some are good also though. faculty members okay okay that's fine then the no issue at all so friends as we know uh, when we are trying to work in material science and most of the people from the chemistry as well as physics or even though nowadays as we know the we are just trying to have the interdisciplinary approach or beyond that we are trying to have the transdisciplinary approach and while working together we can solve so many problems so and that is what this topic is of more relevance not only for the physicists but for, uh, also for the chemistry people as well as from the biological people or the others also so because let me tell you one thing uh, from the research area as sir has uh, elaborated my uh, journey uh, educate journey of education and all like that so one thing let me clear ki why i did this because always i wanted to carry out interdisciplinary research or beyond interdisciplinary i say the transdisciplinary research because i wanted to turn into economics being a physicist i wanted to turn into economics and for that i wanted to learn uh, one of the uh, field that is what we call as econophysics so you might be knowing that so or just uh, let me tell you in a brief ki main kyu padhna chahta tha है ना जैसे कि अपने को पता है अल्टीमेटली एवरी वन इज लुकिंग फॉर इकोनॉमी इवन दो कंट्री इज लुकिंग फॉर इकोनॉमी वर्ल्ड इज लुकिंग फॉर इकोनॉमी एंड वेन एवर देर इज अ टर्बुलेंस इन इकोनॉमी दे आर सॉल्विंग द इकोनॉमिकल प्रॉब्लम विद द हेल्प ऑफ लॉज ऑफ फिजिक्स एंड दैट इज वो जस्ट आई वॉन्टेड टू शिफ्ट एंड यू माई बी वंडरिंग की वाई आई डीड लाइक अ पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन वाई आई डीड इकोनॉमिक्स वाई आई डीड मैनेजमेंट बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू इंटीग्रेट दिज ऑल फील्ड फॉर फॉर सॉल्विंग सच टाइप ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम still i am working on these fields but again as a part of profession i did phd in uh, uh, like a physics basically so friends uh, uh, there are lot of avenues and again one thing let me tell you why uh, the people are solving these economical problems with the help of physics so as you may be knowing uh, somewhere you might learn about statistical physics those who are not from physics so we are using some statistics like a b mb fd and we are having certain laws so these all laws can be utilized and utilized in a worldwide for solving the economical turbulence and again uh, this is what means uh, uh, this, this might be wondering for everyone ki how the people are using and how we can move ahead but really it's a wonderful topic even the one thing let me tell you uh, we are uh, uh, most of the uh, like a faculty members are from chemistry also sir said me ki there is one monte carlo simulation system so with the help of monte carlo simulation system also we can Uh, we can solve lo lot of problems uh, 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 just arise in a economy so means in that way what i want to tell you here ki we are not means any of the science is not restricted to uh, to means to only the wet lab or the dry lab so uh, means that as nowadays again you may be knowing the concept of dry lab people are trying to uh, solve the problem with the dft you may be knowing density functional theory as well as quantum espresso there are certain softwares with the help of that instead of going into the wet lab which we are doing basically so today i am highlighting what are i am just uh, discussing over here this is from the wet lab but instead of doing these all kinds of the work all kinds of the synthesis we can have the simulations with the help of dft or the quantum espresso like softwares and with the help of that also we can tell what kind of the uh, properties material will exhibit so there are lot of concepts and if we are just trying to learn and trying to integrate these all concepts in our research then definitely our research will be of wonderful and that is why i just i will be trying to share uh, the many aspects of this particular topic as well so friends uh, this is what the basic or the briefing about the research i wanted to share now let me move ahead to my topic so the topic is like a synthesis method to obtain vanadide Best uh, phosphor materials for optoelectronic applications. So, if we uh, go through this particular title, title is like a very huge title because recently I have written one review paper on this particular title, and and I thought that I should speak on the same title. And really, this to this topic uh, is of uh, more useful for the freshers rather than those who are already into the research because they they required lot of synthesis. They required lot of knowledge before going for the synthesis. That is what just I am just. i'll be trying to highlight during this particular presentations as well so friends uh, that is what the synthesis method another one is the vanadide is one of the prominent material as we know it is having a 
this validated as a phosphor uh, have lot of uh, uh, applications uh, rather i say whenever we are trying to uh, do some or trying to get some phosphor then most of the phosphors are doped with some activators like as we know the from the lanthanide series we are doping like europium cerium terbium or samarium or anything like that but vanadate is one of the phosphor which is self emitting phosphor and that is why here just uh, i have selected this particular topic of interest and again my one of the research student is working in this particular field so i thought to highlight uh, a single material in this particular presentation and the second uh, the last part of this presentation is like a opto electronic applications so can can anyone tell me uh, what do you mean by the opto electronic application what do you think from this particular line anyone any student can respond in a chat also i don't want to be uh, like a monotonous as sir said ki i think i am a last batsman of this particular game so uh, might be you all are getting a uh, bored or just might be uh, like a full of knowledge and all means both thing might be happen when when there is a last day and really uh, the wonderful series uh, organized by sir really i was just uh, watching uh, every day the updates about this particular series but unfortunately i couldn't join i wanted to join every day also but due to some uh, overlapping of uh, schedule i couldn't so yes yeah i got some response over here opto electronic applications yes the application related to light that's right again again anyone not only light there are so many applications which comes under this particular topic we called as opto electronic applications yes yes students please yeah uh really oh yes means related to optics that's good thank you yes devices and systems yes true yeah solar studies that's good right yes so friends i got lot of clues very much uh, thank you for this i i feel ki still you all are attentive uh, yeah vision i care yeah yeah again there are lot of applications thank you so Uh, related to data transfer uh, that is that is not uh, uh, yeah that might be but uh, here uh, the material which we are using that is not useful in case of the data transfer so friends <coughs> as we know uh, whatever the screen we are using in front of us the screen for laptop which i am using the screen of your mobile phone or the or the computer so these are also the application of opto electronic materials even though the leds even though the you may be knowing about wallpaper display Uh, even though uh, from like a olden days we are uh, we had a crt cathode ray tube and we had a screen of green color and the very prominent material like a zinc or to silicate uh, uh, is always dope on that particular uh, screen now there are so many materials so many best material beyond that also so friends uh, these all comes under the category of the opto electronic devices or the opto electronic application so i'll be again showing you some applications where we can use this kind of the materials so uh, in this particular presentations i'll be talking about uh, some of the methods of synthesis there are as you may be knowing uh, being a chemist uh, we are having lot of methods but out of these i want to focus on like a four five methods and uh, some of the advantages as well as the limitations of these methods also i'll be trying to highlight and i think i have to speak till uh, how much time sir i have to speak uh, at what time i have to uh, sum up sir I do this again. No, no, no. But uh, mm -hmm. there, uh, yeah, there is there may be like I think a validity function also. Up to two, sir. Up to two. Okay, means I have enough time. So thank you. Uh, yes, friends. So then accordingly I can manage the talk. So uh, these are the uh, some of the methods I will be trying to highlight so that uh, the again what I say that you may get some clues uh, for your research project or for your further work and all like that. And uh, finally I will be trying to conclude. so now simply you can see on a very first slide you may see uh, some picture over here and this picture is from this particular field we called as a phosphor so you may look very beautiful color uh, uh, beautiful color over here color on this particular pot as well as uh, uh, like some solution inside this particular bottle as well so both uh, show us some illumination both picture show us some different colors and now this particular color is related to uh, related to what what the field which we are discussing over here and that is why this picture i have shown on a very first slides 
so friends uh, when we are talking about these particular materials or uh, we called as a phosphor so phosphor is what basically uh, it's a, a most generally we, is a suitable that exhibits the occurrence of luminescence now let me tell you the luminescence is what here i am talking about one of the prominent field and that is what we called as a luminescence luminescence is, is uh, what it's a emission of cold light in a simple manner let me tell you uh, it's a, it's the field uh, from which we can get a cold emission so now uh, we should know uh, the difference between hot emission as well as cold emission now let me give you one simple example of the bulb which was discovered by thomas edison and which we, we were using for a long year for a long time as well and the bulb was made up of uh, like a tungsten filament and as we know once we apply the electricity what happened so that there is a generation of the heat and because of heat we can see the light over there light or the illumination which we can see with the help of tungsten filament but instead of generating the light by using the heat the luminescence is one of the field wherein we are not using the uh, means light with the help of heat or just by providing the heat so that is what the difference between the hot emission as well as the cold emission then again uh, as i said i have said ki why the people are trying to learn or trying to put insight into this particular field because there are so many commercial applications of this particular field as i said you uh, the fluorescent tubes hai na jaise ki apne ko sabko pata hai ki ek zamane mein apan tungsten filament wale light use karte the after that we we have started using uh, uh, using the as we we called uh, it as a tube light and in which we had a mercury discharge but again some of the fluorescent materials uh, uh, are still being used inside that particular tube and that that is what the fluorescent tube that is again one of the field uh, which comes from this particular luminescence another thing is as we know the cathode ray tube which i have just uh, already discussed with you the screen of cro simply let me tell you and with the help of that only phosphor coating material we can see the existence of electron otherwise it is always difficult to tell you ki is there, there is a uh, uh, means uh, presence of electron or not even though the screen of television earlier we had a crt based television then we had a lcd display so whatever the uh, the material being coated on lcd display that was also from the field of luminescence even though nowadays we are using the led screen now we know that there are n number of leds which are connected together and that also gives us the light or we can see the picture with the help of that that also coming from the same field and that is why here we are trying to highlight this particular field we called as the luminescence or the we called as a phosphor material so as we know the light emitting diodes uh, then the field emission display fids uh, then then again one more uh, feature some of the so many uh, exciting application i will be trying to highlight during this talk as well so one application i want to tell you about security ink so you may be knowing uh, now the uh, now uh, it's a mandate of rbi and in one of the talk our uh, uh, honorable prime minister said ki why we are uh, why we are still importing the papers and ink from the abroad there is a mandate or government has assigned some task to uh, national physical laboratory new delhi npl delhi to uh, to prepare some ink with the help of this kind of the luminescent material so that we can use indigenous ink for the manufacturing of currencies as well as the paper and npl uh, one of the scientist from npl has achieved Uh, has taken uh, this particular challenge and prepared the security ink as well and now this ink is going to use for the manufacturing of the currency notes so that is what uh, one feature uh, of this particular field as well then like a phosphor thermometry uh, measuring temperature using the phosphorescence as we know we are having the thermometer uh, that is mercury based but uh, we can uh, develop some, th some thermometer with the help of phosphor materials as well so there is no need to use uh, in future uh, like a mercury as we know so the mercury is uh, too much danger uh, dangerous for the environment and the disposal of mercury is really difficult and that is why people are trying to replace the mercury based thermometer by using the phosphorescence uh, as i said ki phosphor thermometry so that is the one more field then like a thermoluminescence dating 
as we know the geological survey uh, gsi india or when they are having lot of fossils they want to calculate the age of that fossils or they want to do, do uh, some study on that particular fossil so at that moment they are using some thermoluminescence dosimetry as well uh then again the thermoluminescence dosimeter so that with the help of that uh, they can decide the dose as uh, we may be knowing uh, so many cancer patients required the doses uh, doses of very uh, uh, powerful medicine so that also can be decided with the help of dosimetry uh, then again there are so many applications of the dosimetry so that comes under the tl or the thermoluminescence uh, then again the non disruptive observations of processes within a cell so this is what uh, related with the biology so uh, whenever as we know the whenever cell is there so inside the cell as we know the mitochondria and all like that i am not from the biology but i know the few words because i am just now connecting with so many biology students and even though they are working with me uh, in some transdisciplinary areas so uh, because of that so as we know the cell wall cell boundaries and all like that so that what what exactly happening inside the cell that also we can assess with the help of some phosphor materials and these all topics we are just trying to highlight we are trying to discuss in this uh, today's talk and uh, this minute this is not moving yeah yeah so friends uh, uh, any question in between uh, also if you have any question you can ask me so that it, sh it should not uh, be like a monotonous or a you know, boring sort of like so any question anyone uh, sir there is a question from gidrappa yeah i think there uh -huh. is yes Uh, please yeah, yeah. Some stability some. yes sir yes yes i'll be i'll be trying to talk about stability most of the material are stable as we know and because of stability we can use uh, the wonderful applications uh, in in case of the display devices even though as we know the we are having solar cell that is also coming from the same field again we are having the led bulb that is also coming from the same field and that we know the we are having the stability and again the uh, good kind of lifetime as well uh then the phosphor ther uh, thermometry can be used sir sir it depends still uh, work is going on uh, they are also just uh, means some of the report i have seen they have they could able to measure the 1000 degrees celsius temperatures with the help of phosphor thermometry so i'll be sharing some papers with you uh, so yes that's good question so uh, yes i hope uh, again so uh, if many more questions then i will be uh, trying to share uh, during the talk so friends now let me again move ahead uh, to uh, highlight some of the basics of this particular field so like a uh, fluorescence and phosphorescence are two form of the photoluminescence used in modern research and practical applications so again it depends upon the time delay and time lag and all like that nothing else uh, then again uh, simply incandescence as we know incandescence as I, as i have already mentioned uh, the hot kind of the emissions which we are getting from the tungsten filament or from as you, we may be knowing about the nichrome and all like that so this photoluminescence does not require a high temperature and does not usually produce the noticeable heat so even though if we are just trying to put a two different bulb one is of like a 40 watt from the tungsten filament one is from the 40 watt from the led and then just try to analyze the heat generated by these two bulbs then definitely we can imagine we can understand the difference between the hot emission as well as the cold emission so again uh, we can see here the such a cold light was the object of an interesting uh, controversy in the 19th century but now we know in uh, today's world so this is the this is in reality so many people we all are using uh, the materials which are which are coming from the same field and as we know the early applications such as fluorescent tube fluorescence analysis and the fluorescent tracers so these were the early applications but as i told you now uh like from uh like uh, led to wallpaper display let me tell you wallpaper display or uh, recently i have seen one of the video you may be knowing you might have also seen that video uh, uh released by the mercedes benz have you seen any student so uh, in that particular car mercedes benz we can change the color of that car means if you want black you can get black if you want blue you can you will get the blue again if you want white color you must get the white and that is what the beauty of this particular field and now what people are trying to people are trying to incorporate the basic concepts of luminescence with the nanotechnology and you may be knowing uh, with the help of nanotechnology 
uh, how uh, we can modulate the uh, means properties of the materials and if we uh, integrate this but two aspects then ultimately we can have the wonderful devices so now let me again move ahead so friends, now uh, uh, in nutshell, I want to share these are uh, these all are the applications from this particular field, and that is why just I am trying to discuss this. So uh, the basic application, as we know, the LED, and LED can be used in a display lighting. That as we know, then again the plasma display, uh, like a screen phosphor or the television that uh, we are using. Uh, then CRT display, then the LCD display, as we know, the fluorescent lamp. Uh, then like a fluorescent marking, image intensifier, so radiation detection scintillator for medical imaging, industrial, safety, uh, industrial medical and the safety. So these all are the prominent application of this particular field. Uh, for detail, again, if you need some uh, like a literature that also I'll be providing those who are interested to work with this particular field. And even though if you uh, wish to collaborate with us, with our group of researcher, then also you all are most welcome. Uh, we are having all kinds of synthesis uh, facility at our college and now we are looking for some characterizations uh, uh, facilities as well soon so friends uh, these all are uh, these are the some of the applications of phosphors uh, uh, and again uh, as i have shared some of the general applications in previous slides now here you can <laughs> you can see here the applications in every field we can see the application in agriculture we can see some application in solar energy so my dear friends, let me tell you one project uh, which uh, recently uh, just we have submitted. Uh, so what we are just trying to do, uh, you may be knowing about the poly houses. So you might have uh, seen, observed the poly houses. And in poly houses, what they, uh, poly houses, what they are doing basically, they are trying to maintain the humidity. They are trying to maintain the humidity as well as temperature and the flow of water. But now we are just trying to add one more component to this particular poly house and that component is the light. Light with a particular wavelength. And with the help of that, what may happen if as we know, some of the crops are only growing in a very particular region. Like as we know, uh, like a kesher or some of the uh, crops like apple, we may be knowing it, it might be only uh, uh, means uh, like a grown up in, in a very cold regions. But if we are just trying to integrate some particular component of the light, because as we know, if we are trying to know about the photosynthesis, so photosynthesis also requires a specific wavelength. And as we know, the light coming from the sun, so uh, they, uh, it has all the component from ultraviolet region to, as we know, uh, till the visible region. But uh, for growing the uh, plant, plant may require a very specific component out of it which may be the green component, which may be the blue component or which may be the red component. But uh, the remaining light is going wasted. Even though you may be knowing uh, in some of the poly houses, people are using the light. But what they are using, they are using the complete spectrum of the light. So out of which very few light is being absorbed by the plant and rest of the light is going wasted. So now what, what is our plan? Our plan is to synthesize the material uh, which can emit a specific wavelength only and and again we can modulate that and once we modulate the required light or the uh, once we synthesize the material and then if we manufacture the led with that particular light and we, we can have the series of leds then what can be happened we can reduce the time of uh, uh, like a growth of plant as well as what what we can do we can grow the crops which are not being grown in our region so these all kinds of aspects can be achieved with the help of that. So uh, in association with agriculture department, uh, botany department of our college, and uh, we people are just uh, have recently submitted this particular project and still hope uh, we are just going to start work on that. So friends, in that way, just what I want to tell you, ki there is a scope for interdisciplinary research. Try to collaborate with people because as you may be knowing, uh, if I just talk in terms of management, Today's world is the, we call it the hookah world. It's a volatile, uncertain, a complex and ambiguous. Or in sub chijo mein agar aapko tarakki karna hai, we need a collaborations. And that is what I said ki in, in that way we had, uh, just we have done collaboration with, and we are having fortunately agriculture college also uh, with our society. That is why it, it's the best part for us to collaborate with, with such type of the project. Then again, as we know the solar energy, 
so when we are using uh, some perovskites uh, uh, based solar cell or the perovskites materials so there as we know the efficiency of the solar cells uh, has been increased earlier people were using the dye uh, dsc dye sensitized solar uh, solar cells <clears throat> earlier to that the silicon solar cell and as we know the journey is there and still people are trying to enhance the efficiency of the solar cell so this is again one of the area which are the prominent area from this particular field where still people are trying to work and they are getting they are achieving the highest efficiency so that we can get more light we can generate more electricity uh, from the solar panels then again uh, low light display and illumination as we know uh, then the biomedical sciences also having lot of applications sensing is one of the field uh, wherein we are having lot of application then the photocatalysis so these all are the uh, applications of this particular field and one of the uh, uh, field i want to tell you here like anti counterfeiting so friends as we, you may be knowing uh, uh, some of the because when i was working with university system so if you see minutely the mark sheet or the degree certificate of the university you may find uh, somewhere there is a thumb print thumb print of one of the <coughs> authority of the university and that is only known to uh, known to the vice chancellor or the, the concerned officers of the university not to everyone have you observed any time kabhi dekha hai kya aap logo ne kabhi yes sir yes yes do you know manje uh, baga now instead of that what we are trying just we are suggesting some materials Uh, materials that should be only known to and that is that is what the practice that is what the practice uh, uh, incorporated by some of the foreign universities as well or in some of the very important documents or just you may be knowing about the painting of the picasso and all like that they are doing that so what they are doing they are putting some fluorescent material and once this material uh, is getting excited by using uv radiation like ultraviolet radiation then that material can emit a particular color and the place of that material also known to a particular persons and in that way we can have the one of the best and prominent application we call it as a anti counterfeiting so that this is again one of the prominent application of this particular field and there is a scope to work for you so anyone uh, wish to work then again we can have the collaboration and we can move ahead like that so another application just why i'm just trying to tell you number of application because so that you will get more motivations ki yes this field has lot of scope this field is still emerging field and we can have the uh, working also so you may be knowing about one of the application like a fluorescence sensing so that fluorescence sensing can be used uh, in analytical chemistry biology uh, biotechnology clinical diagnostics chemical oceanography forensics एनवायरमेंट टॉक्सिकोलॉजी फॉरेंसिक साइंस सबको पता है है ना जैसे ही कहीं पे भी अगर कुछ मर्डर है और ऐसे सब कुछ चीजें होती है तो दे आर द रिपोर्ट इज गोइंग टू द फॉरेंसिक डिपार्टमेंट व्हाट दे आर डूइंग दे आर यूजिंग अ लॉट ऑफ फ्लोरसेंस मींस ऑफ फ्लोरसेंस स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी आल्सो दे आर यूजिंग फॉर द एनालाइजिंग ऑफ द सैंपल्स सो फ्रेंड्स इन दैट केस यू मे बी नोइंग फ्लोरसेंट मॉलिकुलर सेंसर्स देन द माइक्रो फैब्रिकेटेड एनालिसिस सिस्टम फ्लोरसेंस इमेज फॉर सेंसिंग एंड फ्लोरसेंस लीडर so these all types of the uh, sensing systems are there in which the fluorescent material is being used uh, then in case of clinical diagnostics also fluorescent materials are used uh, like a critical care analysis uh, angiography i will be showing you some picture of the angiography uh, bladder tumor detection uh, then again the human skin so uh, for studying the human skin as we know there are so many uh, uh, the means some uh, some skin uh, diseases are there and that can be identified with the help of the fluorescent materials so here you can see the angiography the picture of angiography angiogram showing the uh, uh, micro aneurysm uh, you can see bright points so uh, just i have taken from this particular uh, source so here you can see in this case of the uh, means uh, uh, here some of the spots you can identify with the help of the fluorescent spectroscopy and the detail is given in this particular slides i'll be sharing these all slides with you you can read that uh, because again we are in positive of time we are having half an hour so i want to speak on synthesis as well so i'll be skipping this even the one more thing is uh, like a bladder tumor detection so the tumor uh, inside the bladder also can be detected with the help of some fluorescent materials so here you can see uh, with the help of laser we can 
detect again laser is also the emergence or laser is also one of the offshoot of the same field of luminescence as you may be knowing about the ruby laser you might have heard about the al2o3 in which cr3 plus is dope we called as a gemstones so that is also that comes uh, from this particular field so that there is a, some natural luminescence is there some artificial luminescence is there you may be knowing about the bioluminescence you may be knowing about the chemiluminescence so these all are the offshoot of this particular field and in that way you can connect this particular field and you can see the gravity of this particular field also so this is what uh, uh, some of the uh, means analysis or the fluorescence spectra of normal uh, inflammatory and cancerous tissue upon excitation at 308 nanometer so you can see and on the basis of these all spectra uh these all spectra anyone can analyze uh means what kind of the cancer cells are there so this is again one of the beautiful example of this particular field then again the imaging and tracing so uh, semiconductor nanocrystals are being uh, developed by so many people uh, for this particular field imaging and tracing fluorescence proteins also i'll be showing some pictures about fluorescence protein uh, surface pressure mapping Uh, criminology again uh, some of the applications in criminology and counterfeit detection as i told you already uh, dear friends let me tell you uh, one uh, one uh, one kind of the applications as as we may be knowing uh, like a hai na ki sagani kajwa bagitla asel so kajwa jugnu jisko bolte hai apan so how jugnu is emitting the light there are so many uh, biological uh, organisms they are emitting the light also so i'll be showing you uh, in some pictures in coming pictures yeah uh, this is uh, uh, yeah before uh, proceeding to the bioluminescence and all so i want to just move to this one so here you can see just minute yes so here you can see the surface uh, pressure mapping so with the help of this fluorescence material we can measure the surface pressure also we can map the how much pressure is there and you may be knowing because of the surface pressure so the how uh, means aerodynamic can work into this particular field and how the mileage and all kinds of the things will be coming into the picture like that so that can be uh, even though map with the help of the fluorescence materials so that is again uh, one kind of the application of this as i have mentioned about the fluorescence protein you can see here so uh, this is a rabbit uh, uh, who ha uh, have ate some like a fluorescence protein and with the help of that some of the diseases also can be identified with the help of that even though as we may be knowing about the corona virus so we can see the virus with the help of scanning electron microscopy or some of the uh, uh, advanced microscopy nowadays we call it environmental microscopy but again with the help of that how how and we know the we can see the colorful picture is there really is this colorful picture which we can see with the help of microscopy answer is no it's just made up of uh, uh, made by the artist only but here if we are just uh, uh, giving some fluorescence protein to any of the animals like that then we can see uh, we can see uh, uh, means suppose some defect is there or something is there inside the body like a tumor and all that can be detected so one thing again uh, in one of the field we are just trying to work uh, still uh, yeah, i want to disclose so that you can also work because we want to work together nothing i want to hide here so as you may be knowing hai na pan jisko bolte pan silk banate hai hai na mulberry silk or any of the silk and uh, uh, as we know uh, jo kya, uh, jo silk ke jo uh, kide asat na silk che marathi i can speak to jo wo kya karte basically so instead of what what as we know we are having the same color of the silk only one color that is like a goldish color yellowish or goldish color but if we want a, a green color of the silk if we want a red color of the silk then we can generate some organic material if uh, uh, organic material as a food and if we provide to this particular hai na jo bhi silk banane wale kide unko agar khila denge to what may happen we may get a colorful silk also but again as we know if we want to uh, perform such type of the experiments we know uh, we want uh, there is some ethical guidelines under the head of these biological sciences so if uh, these uh, these particular people will permit us then definitely we can go ahead for such type of the fields also so these all are the applications uh, we uh, we can have the wonderful applications like so even though friends as i have uh, given one of the examples of mark sheet or the degree certificates like that 
you can see if we are just uh, uh, putting some mark with some particular uh, uh, material and if you are just trying to highlight or excite this material under the uv then you can see and uh, you can see depending upon the material you can see the color color emitted by that particular document and in that way uh, we can identify yeah? and we can just uh, uh, resist or sto stop the uh, like a kochade uh, prakaran like that in every university so this might be or uh, these are some of the prominent applications so fluorescence in art as uh, in case of the painting and sculptures as i have mentioned earlier even though you can see some of the paintings in which uh, illumination of painting by a uv lamp permits visualization of the restoration uh, repairs hairline cracks overlapping uh, falsified signatures etc means these all things also can be identified with the help of fluorescence materials once these materials are excited with a particular light or the wavelength so this is what the laser material uh, nd uh, yvo4 so we have recently synthesized this material by using some of the novel techniques uh, so that we can uh, uh, we can save the energy we can save the environmental degradation all like all like that the same material nd yvo4 and uh, we are just uh, reporting this material as a laser material so you can see some of the examples of luminescence uh, yeah these are the fluorescent minerals emit visible light when exposed to uv light that will only shows this kind of the light when it will be exposed to uv light only otherwise we can't see like that so another you can see microbiological diagnostics as i have mentioned uv photoluminescence in microbiological diagnostics you can see there so this is again the fluorescence so different colors we can see once the this particular solution will be excited by the uv radiations uh, as i have mentioned about uh, uh, bioluminescence you can see some of the animals they are emitting the light and it is basically chemiluminescence but the biological organisms are there and that is why what we are uh, saying it as a bioluminescence nothing else and uh, some enzymes are there with the help of that they are emitting the lights so if you are more interested we can work together in this but we can start work i am not working in bioluminescence but definitely we can so some of the plants also uh, emitting the light some of the aquatic animals also emitting the light i want to show you if this particular video plays so there is a video I think uh, yeah i have uploaded this video but unfortunately it's not uh, uh, yeah playing here so uh, if i want to play the video what uh, uh, i uh, i have to go back uh, to this yes sir uh, sir i think uh, you can uh, directly go to the youtube and uh, you can play from there that right? that i can do i just uh, yeah, uh, yeah. i want to stop this uh, screen and i am having one video in my folder that i want to play okay yeah, yeah. just give me uh, a minute yeah because uh, it's a restriction of this uh, like a zoom yes so uh, now i want to share this video uh, i will stop here oh, very zoom just a minute let me open this yeah i think sir aap wo link ko copy karke aapke presentation mein agar paste karte to wahan se bhi hum ja sakte the youtube par okay aisa bhi kar sakte the ha main bhi yahan se bhi play karke dekho या 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 अभी हो रहा है यस सर दिख रहा है आवाज आ रहा है सर स्टार्ट नहीं हुआ, नहीं हुआ मेरी स्क्रीन पर अभी स्टार्ट नहीं हुआ है हो गया शुरू नहीं आवाज आ रही है बस शुरू नहीं हुआ लेकिन लोगों को पता नहीं सर बाकी लोगों को लेकिन मुझे नहीं दिख रहा है दिख रहा है कि किसी को नहीं दिख रहा है ज्यादा सर मोरे सर नहीं सर नहीं सर नहीं सर नहीं दिख रहा है मैडम नहीं दिख रहा है ना नहीं आणि आवाज येतोय सर फक्त ओके ओके जस्ट मिनट आई विल ट्राई अदरवाइज वी कैन लेफ्ट इट 
no issue or you can share the link with us so that we can mm-hmm. share it with the participants Mom, now us. i don't have mujhe mujhe nahi pata because i have just downloaded this video i wanted to show uh, that is why just nothing else na just minute yeah just one minute let me try okay sir yeah if possible otherwise we can left it huh? no issue if not played stop sharing and i will go back to screen Yes, now it is not open. Okay, forget it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, forget it. Uh, I will share the link once I uh, once I get it. So definitely, I will share with the uh, participants. so uh, as even though uh, early morning really i mean i got surprised when i went to uh, went through this particular video so the fireflies can communicate with the help of fluorescent lights that is what the wonderful video i found uh, i found from one of the uh, like a uh, one of the uh, journals so really they have given the link for that particular video and that is what just i wanted to share only so even though with the help of this kind of the bioluminescence or uh, the light they are trying to uh, means uh, communicate with each other and that is what again one of the wonderful application i found early morning and that is what that particular video so uh, you can watch uh, later even though yahan pe maine ek karke rakha tha but yahan se bhi nahi aa raha hai so forget it yeah so friends in that way uh, these are the applications of the bioluminescence uh even though one more applications let me tell you about the solar cell as we were talking about the solar cell so as we know and in most of the solar cell we are using uh, the phenomenon of the photoluminescence but i found in one of the paper instead of photoluminescence if we use the electroluminescence then the efficiency of the solar cell can be enhanced and that is what uh, uh, this particular kind of the micrograph and all so that is what again the uh, means paper available with us so that or that is again one point uh, for uh, for the research uh, for other researchers as well so now this is what the general applications i just uh, uh, thought to speak with you now for next 15 minutes i'll be trying to about the uh, talk about this vanadate as a phosphor so uh, as already i have mentioned this why vanadate because vanadate can be considered as a self emitting phosphor and even though you may be knowing now government of india recently given mandate to most of the csir lab to replace the rare earth as you may be knowing the most of the rare earths are coming from the china that is not produced in india and that is why the cost of the material is going to enhance and if we are just trying to find some materials even though uh, uh, recently again one more a minor project i have submitted to university so while uh, writing this project i found that bismuth is one of the best material which can replace the rare earth so even though you can go through that i'll share uh, some literature if you are more interested so in that way this vanadate we found is one of the most prominent material which can gives the self emission even though what we tried we tried to incorporate some impurities or we called as activators then also we found uh, there is a means good kind of luminescence obtained in case of vanadate recently we got some uh, uh, result of photoluminescence so that is why just uh, here just i would like to highlight on a on a specific material that is what the vanadate and that can be used as a phosphor gas sensor catalysis even though in rechargeable batteries and ele- electrochemical devices and because of this uh, we are we have just uh, selected this particular material these are some of the uh, vanadate materials which i found uh, during the literature review so uh, like a novel red phosphors based on vanadate garnet for solid lighting solid state lighting application uh, this is what you can see the catchy title of the paper uh, the vanadate can emit the red light uh, novel lo emitting phosphors you can see some combination of the vanadate without doping that can emit the lo light Uh, even though here you can see uh, some of the uh, now here uh, it's a dope one uh, like a activate u uh, three plus activated you can see the phosphorus or color tuning so with the help of that and again one more application is like a temperature sensing so that is why we are just trying to work in this particular materials 
so uh, simply uh, there is a yvo4 group that i am not speaking because i am from the physics so i don't know much chemistry but uh, uh, up to this mark i know the chemistry that we can see so friends now the question arises uh, being a researcher what is uh, what is uh, what is the crux for us so what we are trying we are trying to only only two thing i am telling you uh, while during the uh, like a doctorate in management doctorate in physics even though now guiding the students i found uh, while reading the literatures i found that every researcher is trying to enhance the efficiency of the devices and second thing is as i have mentioned in a very initial phase of my talk that is what the economy everyone trying to reduce the cost of the devices and only because of we researcher uh, we we community of researchers we are able to use this laptop we are able to use this mobile in a very cheaper price only because of researcher and that's why i just i salute to all researchers i salute to the work they have contributed uh, to the field of Uh, like a science and technology because of that we can speak with each other now also it's only again because of the research so friends now what happened if we want to uh, fabricate synthesize prepare some of the material then what we what we are trying we are trying to find some specific route as i have mentioned as i, as I told you we have recently synthesized one of the material why vivo 4 nd so already this material is too much explored by various researcher but we have prepared this material with one of the unique synthesis method in uh, in that method let me tell you what is the difference so uh, recently we have communicated this paper so friends uh, the difference is that ki if you are going for a routine solid state reaction method which i am just trying to highlight so in case of solid state reaction method we required a furnace muffle furnace and uh, for most of the materials we required the temperature around 600 700 degrees celsius uh, because as we know if we see the melting point of vanadate is about 1900 degrees celsius and if we want to mix the vanadate compound with some compound so that we can get some uh, 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 some unique compound then we have to melt these melt it together so that the formation of the compound will be takes place so what what we are trying so instead of this kind of the uh, like a tedious time consuming energy energy requirement is more so uh, people are trying or the chemist uh, most of the chemistry people okay they are what they are just giving a uh, new synthesis routes like we called the wet chemistry route so like a co precipitation or the hydrothermal or the solvent thermal or the combustion synthesis is also one of the best synthesis you may be knowing that is uh, uh, that is just uh, discovered in uh, in india uh, discovered in india as one of the dr patil's lab so at iis bangalore so you can see the this is again wonderful technique so i'll be trying to highlight on this particular uh, synthesis technique so in case of uh, solid state reaction uh, simply uh, we are taking the precursor whatever the material if we want to prepare suppose if you want to prepare like a yvo4 then we can take some uh, salt of the yttrium some salt of the vanadate we are trying to mix in a mortar pestle or if a ball milling is available we can have the ball milling and then we are just putting into some crucible might be uh, silica or alumina depending upon the temperature requirement or like a simple china dish and then we are putting into the furnace uh, for several hours maybe 6 hours 7 uh, hours uh, and again the temperature 700 800 depending upon the materials and in that way we can have the solid state reactions or the synthesis of the material with the help of solid state reactions and once we synthesize material then uh, how do we confirm the uh, confirm the material can anyone tell me any student suppose uh, you have prepared yvo4 then how do you confirm uh, the prepared yvo4 is it prepared or not can anyone tell me how do you confirm it's a very basic question and that is what the primary requirement of any of the material scientist uske bagair wo samne ja hi nahi sakta yes anyone anyone please chat mein dalo ya baat karo agar aapko maine bataya ki aapko yvo4 maine banane ke liye diya hai to aapko bana kya nahi bana kaise pata chalega bhai agar ghar mein khichdi pakti hai to kaise pata chalta hai khichdi bani hai ya nahi bani hai to थोड़ा सा अपन मतलब दबा के देखते हैं है ना थोड़ा प्रेस करके देखते हैं खा के भी देखते हैं बट यहाँ पे वो तो होगा नहीं तो देन विद हेल्प ऑफ टीएलसी सर व्हाट एग्जैक्टली टीएलसी यस 
केवल ट्राइड या बट टी एल सी इज वॉट वोट इज मैं टी एल सी कैन यू राइट द फुल फॉर्म दिस इज अब्रिवेटेड फॉर्म थीन लेयर क्रोमेटोग्राफी नो नो सो दिस इज नॉट द परफेक्ट टेक्निक बाय विच वी कैन फाइंड आउट ओके दिस मे बी आई मीन दिस मे बी वन ऑफ द टेक्निक बिकॉज आई हैव वॉन्ट यूज द या इलिमेंटल एनालिसिस मास एनालिसिस येस दैट इज गुड अगेन Yes, that is the again. Uh, that is the again advanced techniques are told about the elemental. That is EDX and again the uh, yeah, with the help of comparison with previous result. Okay, but where, where, how powder को compare करेंगे क्या अपन? Powder का color देख के compare करेंगे क्या? मैं मैं students से expect कर रहा हूँ. I am not asking to any faculty member. Yes, yeah. Characterization with same term. So uh, yes. Yes, yes, uh, confirm nahi karenge na, beta. Same term is a uh, the technique which can be used for studying the surface morphology, and I am talking about the crystal structure, formation of the crystal structure. I am talking about the crystallography. I am not talking about the yes, that's what Manjit. Good, thanks Manjit. X R D. Yes, E D X. E D X is uh, means with the help of E D X we can find out the composition. Agar matlab kiska kitna percent hai bane huye compound me. Thank you. ओके नाउ जस्ट आई वांट टू स्टॉप द चार्ट हियर सो फ्रेंड्स अगर जैसे वाई वी ऊपर बना क्या नहीं बना है तो व्हाट वी कैन सी वी कैन गिव इट और वी कैन टेक द एक्स रे स्पेक्ट्रा ऑफ दैट एक्स आर डी एक्स रे डिफ्रैक्शन पैटर्न ऑफ दैट एंड देन वी नो वी आर हैविंग द जेसीपीडीएस डाटा जॉइंट कमिटी फॉर द पाउडर डिफ्रैक्शन स्टैंडर्ड एंड वी आर मैचिंग विद दैट एंड इफ द वैल्यूज ऑफ टू थीटा विद द इंटेंसिटी पीक विल बी मैचिंग देन डेफिनेटली वी कैन से दैट देर इज अ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द वाई वी ओपोर और एनी ऑफ द कंपाउंड and then we can have the further study of that lekin xrd tak to sare researcher ko karna hi karna hai maybe you are studying the optical property maybe you are studying the magnetic property maybe you are studying the electrical property or maybe you are studying the mechanical property there are again n number of properties lekin xrd karna hi karna hai so friends in that way we can prepare the material with the help of solid state reactions so here you can see वन ऑफ द प्रोमिनेंट मटेरियल मैं एक ही को कंपेयर करके दिखा रहा हूँ आपको वाई वी ओ फोर यू थ्री प्लस फॉस्फर प्रिपेयर बाय द सॉलिड स्टेट रिएक्शन सो दिस इज द एक्साइडी पैटर्न यू कैन सी जहाँ पे आपको लेजर पॉइंटर दिख रहा है एंड हियर यू कैन सी टू थीटा वैल्यू वर्सेज इंटेंसिटी एंड वट इज ए यू कैन एनी वन टेल मी ए यू ए यू ब्रैकेट में ए यू लिखा है क्यों लिखते हैं बहुत जरूरी है माई डियर फ्रेंड्स आपको है ना एम एस सी स्टूडेंट्स को तो बहुत जरूरी है सब चीजें पता होना ए यू क्यू लिखते हैं yes. अरे ऐसा पटापट रिप्लाई आना चाहिए बोर हो गई क्या कैन आई स्टॉप मुझे भी भूख लगी है कैन आई स्टॉप लेकिन मेरा आवाज कम हुआ क्या यू एन दई एम नॉट फीलिंग वेल आई एम सफरिंग फ्रॉम सम वायरल फीवर यस बट स्टिल बिकॉज ऑफ कमिटमेंट आई एम हियर एनी वन वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस ए यू No meaning. Okay. Arbitrary unit. Arbitrary, but arbitrary, arbitrary unit. Because we are not, uh, I mean, sir, trying to show that intensity hundred is hundred is or thousand is or how many is. So that is why we are writing a arbitrary <coughs> unit. Because just we are trying to compare with only two theta values. We are not just trying to compare with like a means. Yeah, this peak we are trying to match. so here you can see in this xrd we are always trying to see the major three peaks matlab minimum and we can see the maximum n number of peaks in xrd so here you can see the uh, two theta value of uh, the jcpds data as well as the undoped and the doped sample here you can see are the same and here also you can see and on the basis of that we can say that the y view for u is prepared by using solid state reaction method Another thing is here you can see it's a same micrograph जिसके बारे में आप बात कर रहे थे यहाँ पे आपको सिर्फ पार्टिकल साइज दिखेगी मतलब पार्टिकल एग्लोमेट हुए है उसका शेप क्या है रॉड शेप है स्पेरिकल शेप है टेट्रागोनल है वट एवर इट मे बी टेट्रापोर्ट शेप है सो दिज ऑल थिंग्स यू कैन सी विद हेल्प ऑफ द सेम बट इट्स अ सरफेस मॉर्फोलॉजी इट्स नॉट अ इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर एंड अगेन दिस पार्टिकल साइज ऑल्सो कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड विद हेल्प ऑफ एक्स आई डी यू मे बी डूंग अबाउट द शेयर फार्मूला सो दैट ऑल्सो यू कैन and the last one here you can see this is about the photoluminescence spectra wherein here we are just trying to understand the excitation as well as emission wavelength and uh, with the help of that we can see or we can suggest the potential application of a prepared phosphor so this is what the solid state reaction 
method then the next method i want to go ahead yeah uh, these are the advantages uh, of this particular method i'll be sharing with you these are the limitations simple hai but as we know the limitation is that it is a time consuming cost requirement is more energy requirement is more so that is why uh, people are trying to go ahead for the new kinds of the methods so this is again another method is a combustion method what is the difference between solid state reaction and combustion method bahut sare chart mein questions hai jiske mujhe answer dena hai so uh, i'll be talking for next 10 minutes only can can anyone tell me the difference between solid state method and combustion method here what we do and what we are trying to do and why so what we do we here also we are using the furnace this is just like a ssr but in ssr we are not using any fuel to initiate the reaction here we are using some fuel might be uh, yes which are the fuels most preferred fuels anyone can write pat pat i think sir bhook lagi hai sabko sande hai bahut galat time pe lecture hai ye yes आएगी रिप्लाई लिखा हुआ है भाई यहाँ पे इट्स मेटल नाइट्रेट्स और द फ्यूल एज यूरिया और एज यू मे बी नोइंग ग्लाइसिन है ना आई एम नॉट फ्रॉम केमिस्ट्री बट दिस फ्यूल्स फ्यूल्स वी आर यूजिंग दैट इज आई एम टेलिंग यू वी आर यूजिंग दिस फ्यूल्स एंड व्हाट एपन की बिकॉज ऑफ यूज ऑफ फ्यूअल इंस्टेड ऑफ लाइक सिक्स हंड्रेड सेवन हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस फॉर अ लाइक ओवर we can have the combustion synthesis around 400 500 degrees celsius within a 10 minutes is within a 10 minutes 15 minutes and that is what the added advantages of the combustion synthesis over the uh, solid state reactions and again after that the similar kind of process is there cooling and again then we are having the uh, xid of the prepared sample uh, that is what after combustion so that i want to show you show you here you can see the xid of the yvo4 eu uh, 3 plus prepared by combustion these are the same micrograph and these are the pl spectra of that so this is a combustion synthesis these are the advantages as well as limitations one more method is as you may be knowing about sol gel uh, in this method uh, we can uh, we can have some uh, means we are preparing the sol and then we are preparing the gel we are mixing together and then there is a formation of the final product so these are the xid and the pl uh prepared by the cell these are the same microgram these are the advantages and the limitations of this method another method is the co precipitation method uh, which is just mostly preferred a wet chemistry method uh, in which just we are trying to add uh, some like a uh, uh, solutions with some acid and then we are uh, we are having some st uh, stirring with that uh, with the heat magnetic stirrer with hot plate we are doing in that precipitated we can filter it out and once uh, means uh, once we uh, just wash number of times this uh, uh, particular precipitated we know the uh, means the component which are not required for us that is going to uh, means wash out and the remaining product will be used for the xid xray diffraction again this is the xray diffractions yahan pe dekho aapko ye arbitrary unit uh, likha hai lekin ye galat hai arbitrary unit yahan nahi likhna hai क्योंकि ऑलरेडी इंटेंसिटी इज रिटर्न हो गई है यू कैन सी है ना दो हजार चार हजार छह हजार आठ हजार दस हजार जो भी है सो इन दैट वे सो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज व्हाट अगेन यू कैन सी सेम माइक्रोग्राफ ऑफ द प्रिपेयर्ड सैंपल दिस इज द पीएल स्पेक्ट्रा ऑफ दिस सैंपल एंड दीज आर द एडवांटेजेस एंड द लिमिटेशन ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर मेथड अगेन वन मोर प्रोमिनेंट मेथड इज हाइड्रोथर्मल सिंथेसिस दैट कैन बी कैरिड आउट इन ऑटोक्लेव ऑटोक्लेव दैट इज मेड अप ऑफ स्टेनलेस स्टील Uh, inside we some teflon beaker is there teflon beaker we can put some mixtures uh, uh, okay and then we are just uh, uh, we are fixing that particular autoclave so that pressure can be generated with the help of the temperature and simply you may be knowing about the pv is equal to nrt and with the help of that the reaction can be carried out in a, in a very uh, at a very low temperature like a 80 degree or the 110 degree celsius for like 5 hours 6 hours and that is why this is again one of the preferred synthesis for the manufacturing of nano materials so these are the uh, results xid these are the uh, pl and the same results these are the added advantages and limitations of the this particular method so finally i want to conclude 
out of all methods uh, whatever the methods i have suggested i have been discussed in this particular presentations this hydrothermal and wet chemical co precipitation methods are the most preferred method for the synthesis of the materials and you can go ahead uh, with your literature reviews or the literature survey uh, for the suitable method of your synthesis now at the end i want to thank uh, everyone for patience listening uh thank you very much to the coordinators for giving me an opportunity to share my ideas on this particular topic uh thank you reena ma'am uh thank you dadade sir very good friend of mine with whom i work i have published one paper with him also uh nilesh sir nilesh gandare sir who taught me he is my guru he is my teacher uh, he is my super senior who taught me and only because of him we are i am here as a speaker means uh, he taught us how to speak on a uh, uh, on a, uh, as a as a public speaker so that is what the journey started from our graduation college so thank you everyone for patience listening now any questions if any questions or i can just go through the chat uh, sir there is one question yeah, uh, yeah yes you can take ma'am ma'am you can just, just a minute just read. a minute yes yeah yeah sir manjit singh want to ask that yeah. what is center and pre center center means simply uh, uh, see uh, what we do basically uh, for for getting a phase purity whenever we are trying to put in a furnace so before that uh, what we do we are just heating that material uh, at a very low temperature like suppose you want to prepare your material at 600 degrees celsius so pre sintering means we are heating that material at 400 degrees celsius for like a, a half an hour or one hour and that is what we called as the pre sintering aur jo 600 pe karte that is what the sintering sintering is simply heating process which we are adopting uh, in a solid state reaction methods uh, uh, manjit singh again want to ask one question sir that please explain about co precipitation method of neo is that new manjit singh it's not new it's not new method uh, it's a yeah uh, yeah let me tell you ma'am uh, it's a very uh, conventional method but nowadays uh, what we are trying instead of solid state reactions if we go ahead uh, with a like a co precipitation then it would be the preferred one and uh, this is one of the preferred method to yeah, synthesize the nano materials yeah yeah and that is not new that we can it's a very simple method if you read the uh, literature or if you read the research paper then definitely you will be able to understand the co precipitations for the, for the desired sample which you want to prepare and which must be different for a different materials as well uh, again some question kuch chat yeah one yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, sanket mathur wants to ask you sir can oxides can be considered as piezo electric material yeah well look dekho oxides bole to it's a category of material aur oxides mein to bahut sare materials aate hai hai na chemistry people can explain very well uh, i can uh, i means i can ask nilesh sir to explain more about the oxide instead of me hai na i am a physicist i know uh, the material like a fluorides material like a silicates material like a vanadate that comes under the category of uh, oxides and uh, for everyone's knowledge let me tell you still i am learning the chemistry so i am sitting with uh, like a dr yeah. shah he is associate professor with my college so every day just i am i am sitting as a student of him still okay. i am a researcher i am doing research in field but i want to learn now chemistry like madan malik tuli is my one of the favorite book i used to read uh, during our graduation days still i want to read again this book so that i can understand every minute aspects of the chemistry which we are using in our research because as we know the chemistry is very huge subject uh, sir you are uh, 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 matlab you talk about the firefly yeah, yeah. do you have yeah. any uh, uh, in your mind uh, what type of work you want to do with the firefly because from last 10 years uh, it was my dream uh, to do something with the firefly yeah mom ma mom basically uh, we can study uh, what kind of the luminescence material is there and how this material as we know as i, I as i have mentioned ki i found uh, surprisingly how they are communicating with each other with the help of fluorescent material so now yeah. we want to uh, means we want to find out ki what what exactly that material is there if we are just trying to analyze as you may be knowing so people yeah. are trying to means simply if we are trying to uh, talk about nanotechnology 
so it's yeah. a very old technology it's not a new technology only because mm-hmm. of feynman now it is coming into the picture only because yeah. of scanning electron microscopy only because of afm stem we are able to uh, means measure the size of the particle nothing else but if we yeah. see the lotus leaf so the lotus leaf on lotus leaf there is a nano particle and because of the water water is not getting stuck if mm. we see the lizard if we see the yes. uh, see some of the animals on their skin already nano materials are there even though in our ancestors were using the suit carbon suit as we may mm. be doing for making the kajal so the, yes. it's also the nano material it's a super fine nano material but they don't have any technique to measure it and in a similar manner if we want to work in a like a fireflies then we need to identify what kind of the materials are there because i found one new <laughs> application surprisingly how they are communicating with, with each other with the help of the light that video definitely okay. i will share with you then you can understand the uh, the what what kind of thought uh, means i i just found in that particular video and again okay. bioluminescence we can do <clears throat> bioluminescence yeah, yeah 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 that is a really wonderful yeah, thing and just we found we are trying to find some people those who really uh, would like to work into that particular field because nobody is working in our region but it's yes, a really yes. excellent field as we know everyone want to uh, just shift from inorganic to organic because mm-hmm. even though we people are trying to synthesize uh, instead of in- inorganic material for the led we are trying to synthesize the organic led or the organic material in a similar manner we may get some wonderful application if we are trying to learn with these all like a uh, fireflies or the jugnus and all like that or the fishes mm. which i have shown or some yeah, of yeah. the plants i have shown so that is what we can extract my one of my two students uh, like they are they are from zoology background we are mm. working together we are mm. synthesizing some nano materials uh, by using green synthesis and then we are yeah. going to see the effect of synthesized nano materials on back to bacterial pathogens okay so one more uh, uh, like a uh, one more our friend from the medicos uh, he is md medicine he is also joined with our group and now just okay. we are we are trying to do some combined study together तो इसे बहुत अवेलेबल है मैं तो चाहता हूं कि लोगों ने कोलैबोरेट होकर काम करना चाहिए डेफिनेटली सर वी विल मीट वेरी सून या मतलब है ना फील्ड इतनी मस्त है इतने सारे अवेन्यूज है मैंने बताया ना इवन दो अपन तो साइंसेस वाले हैं मैंने बताया कि आर्ट के साथ कितना बड़ा कनेक्टिविटी है जी मतलब इकोनॉमिक्स के साथ में जैसे मैंने बताया कि पब्लिक पॉलिसी है ना इकोनॉमी तो ठीक है जो पब्लिक के लिए पॉलिसीज आती दैट इज आल्सो कमिंग फ्रॉम द फिजिक्स फिजिक्स या बायोलॉजी की जो लॉज है फिजिक्स बायोलॉजी या केमिस्ट्री की जो लॉज है जिसको मॉन्टे कार्लो सिमुलेशन बोलते हैं तो द पब्लिक पॉलिसीज आर कमिंग फॉर्मुलेटेड बाई यूजिंग दिज ऑल काइंड ऑफ द सिमुलेशन तो बहुत वंडरफुल रिसर्च इज रियली वंडरफुल बट वो करना जरूरी है थॉट uh, देना जरूरी है समय देना जरूरी है डेफिनेटली डेफिनेटली या सो थैंक यू फॉर सच अ वंडरफुल लेक्चर सर आई थिंक एवरी वन गेट एन लाइटन विथ योर एक्सपर्टीज एंड यू हैव शेयर विद अस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड द फैबुलस थिंग्स विच मे बी सम ऑफ देम एंड सम ऑफ देम डोंट नो सम ऑफ देम मे बी नो बट मेनी मोर ऑफ देम दे इवन डोंट नो अबाउट दिज मेनी थिंग्स तो थैंक यू सो मच सर हैव हाईलाइटेड मेनी इंपॉर्टेंट फीचर्स रिगार्डिंग फॉस्फर he focused on research and manufacturing of indigenous ink this was one of the uh, very interesting topic which i have found sir and i think most of the participant they also found it very interesting so thank you so much sir now to propose the vote of thanks may call thank upon you, mr kailash more thank you sir assistant professor department of chemistry nabira mahavidyalaya katol to thank our the eminent guest dr nilesh ugemugge sir over to you sir Thank you, ma'am. Uh, very, uh, very uh, warm good afternoon to all and all. Uh, on behalf of the organizing committee, I extend a really heartily vote of thanks to our eminent guest speaker, Dr. Nilesh Mugesh sir, uh, who spent time from his busiest schedule to grace the occasion. And thank you, sir, for such an informa- informative, elaborative, and dynamic talk on synthesis and characterization of phosphor. for opto electronic applications today we had an opportunity to hear your talk on opto electronic applications and this will surely be a going to encourage us in our future research thank you sir over to you ma'am 
thank you sir now ladies and gentlemen we are moving towards the valedictory function now, uh, once again i want to uh, wish you all a very good afternoon i dr reena meshram from department of botany take this opportunity to welcome each one of you to the valedictory function of this 10 days national lecture series on 132nd birth anniversary of late shri bikulal nabira ji this is an immensely exciting noon for our institute the actively growing participation of students from different colleges affirms the relevance and meaningfulness of this lecture series i think this lecture series was a synergy for the youth creativity and talent portion it was an intellectual experience with all proficient speakers for all the participants here from first day of this lecture series all in all it was an enthusiastic energetic knowledgeable event gelled with cerebral grilling and creative palate i hope you enjoyed your last 10 days with us now moving to moving ahead let me first acknowledge the presence of our eminent guest it is indeed our pleasure to have amongst us the guest of honor and valedictory speaker dr parvez ali sir welcome you sir now moving uh, ahead uh, when you are when you are around enormously successful people you realize that their success is not an accident it's a it's about hard work i now call upon mr nilesh jadhav assistant professor department of chemistry nabira mahavidyalaya kartol to introduce our esteemed guest over to you sir dr mr mr nilesh uh, jadhav thank you thank you madam am i audible yes sir yes yes okay uh, good afternoon uh, all of you uh, today uh, this task of introducing our guest of honor and valedictory speaker is a great privilege i know this one is a difficult but uh, thought that he is a man of virtue and simplicity i feel elated to introduce him to everyone today if one takes a closer look at the alchemy of the achieving person two distinct virtues pop up besides perseverance and hard work these are the pioneering spirit and willingness dr parvez ali sir is a head of basic science unit academic affairs prince sultan military medical city riyadh saudi arabia he received his phd in organic chemistry from rtm nagpur university nagpur he is a dynamic high performing and strategic thinking academician with over 15 years of teaching research and higher education experience at the diploma graduation and post graduation level education facility along with the administration and industrial experience taught and developed a theory laboratory courses for general chemistry organic chemistry biochemistry analytical chemistry and medicinal chemistry he has published more than 50 research papers in international journal of high index publish three books related to laboratory chemistry safety and nanotechnology granted one australian patent on smart irrigation he was awarded as a best teacher award in 2015 by center for health studies prince sultan military medical city riyadh saudi arabia he has delivered a keynote addresses in the various international conferences as a invited keynote speaker guest of honor and various guest lectures he has established effective research collaboration with the academician and scientists from various countries he is affiliated to more than 10 international journal as a editorial member and reviewers he has got got hands on experience around Three and half years in research and process development of various antibiotics, antiviral and APIs in Indian pharmaceutical industries such as Orchid Chemicals Chennai, Lupin Pharmaceutical Limited, Bhopal, etc. He has received a research fellowship by a government of India, best poster award in Biomati US Second International Workshop, Ifren Morocco in 2010. and achieved a university merit rank in 2004 dear participants please join me welcoming dr parvez ali sir for valedictory speech dr parvez ali sir over to you sir 
थैंक यू प्रोफेसर नीलेश एम आई ऑडिबल टू एवरी वन थैंक यू सर यस सर ओके एक्सलेंसीज लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन वेरी वार्म आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ यू Uh, today we have reached the end of 10 days national level lecture series in the memory of honorable late shri bipulal ji navira and it is my honor to provide closing remarks for this professional oriented knowledge festival of chemical sciences it is a sad task but because we shall be closing the door on lively and simultaneous debate as well as bidding farewell to friends and associates however it is also a privilege and honor to be entrusted with such an undertaking at a gathering of such eminent people from different parts of the nation from various field of universities research laboratories and academia as with all such events and this national lecture series have been an outstanding example our minds have been assailed by a torrent of ideas information stats interpretations and visions there is indeed plenty to reflect upon and if this is any way enhances our individual and collective contribution to meeting the scientific environment then the lecture series can be adjudged a success i would be briefly like to review some of the main points aired during this our valuable deliberations this national lecture series has performed a valuable function in that it has enabled expert on many different aspects of research and chemistry to give us their views i will summarize some of the topics of this 10 days uh, lecture series it started with preparation of net set gate examination in the field of chemical sciences followed by a very good lecture namely simple and effective strategies for writing research paper then professor bhushan popatkar throws some light on the spectroscopy namely infrared then dr dattatre he gave the lecture on very important point as far as uh, undergraduates and postgraduate students are concerned the common chemical laboratory safety measures followed by honorable vasudev gurmule sir lecture and overview of elastomers then dr pradeep gave a lecture on bibliographic citation ethics in research then very important lecture given by professor ratiram choudhury on research article how to write it how to index it then <clears throat> very good lecture given by dr atul nagpure on research methodologies research methodologies for new researchers then dr anil muke he gave a presentation on how to conquer the world of competition and you guys are very lucky to have dr nilesh uge muge his lecture excellent synthesis and characterization of phosphorus for opto electronic application he was uh, it was the 10 days <coughs> lecture <coughs> sorry uh, uh, which i cover the main topics of this conference uh, at this moment i would like to add up uh, with summarizing few points here as i know here are undergraduate students and specifically there are uh, pg students of chemistry i would like to suggest you guys something professionally very important to you uh, when you complete your degrees with flying grades and try to enter in professional job market some of you will prepare for net set some will go for pursuing research some will try to join various industries but for that stage you must be prepared you must have different skill sets to conquer the uh, the demand of the industry or uh, of the professional field that's why a science graduate with chemistry or post graduate chemistry student you must train yourself with practical skills practical knowledge of current laboratory techniques used in chemistry knowledge and mastery of the common techniques used in the characterization of various chemical compounds knowledge of the regulation on risk prevention in laboratories while you guys are working and in chemical sector you must develop simple basic techniques very simple basic techniques when you go out of your college very simple purification crystallization various distillation techniques tlc separation purification and separation techniques like column chromatography qualitative and quantitative analysis etc etc more you should be trained yourself in synthesis analytical methods like nmr hplc ir uv visible spectroscopy sample preparation laboratory equipments gc ms and you must train yourself with various software tools like kmdraw structure activity relationship softwares molecular modeling softwares xrd x-ray crystallography 
molecular docking, various drug designing softwares like uh, freely available nowadays, like Molespiration, O-Series, Petra. These many of them softwares are freely available online. So try to get uh, training on handling and operating some of the uh, analytical instruments in various CSR lab, chemical industries or related places during your semester vac vacation, try to use your free time to train yourself to be entered into the job market, okay? Then, uh, for example, uh, I will suggest uh, there in, in Nagpur, we have got one uh, forensics laboratory. If you have 10 days vacation, go there, try to uh, ask them and join for 10 days to train on various analytical instruments and so on, okay? Another thing I would like to tell you, the importance of collaborative research as PG student. You will have to complete your master thesis, you know, nowadays by doing the research product. So try to establish research collaboration with national and international pool of scientists around the world. You can do so by joining various professional networking sites like ResearchGate, LinkedIn, Google Scholar, etc., etc. Using this, you can connect to various scientists around the world and help you discover content valuable, which is valuable to your work. It allows you to create different research projects and uh, topics. Moreover, you can use it to build uh, connections in your uh, industry and to stay in touch with colleagues past and present. It's an, in, an uh, invaluable tool for job searches, recruitment like LinkedIn, and great way to stay up to date with industrial news, enhance your professional reputation, and increase the visibility of your brand and many more things. Uh, with these remarks, I have to stop here, and I would like to congratulate and thankful to the principal uh, Professor Naveen sir for directing this excellent informative event of 10 days of lecture series. Uh, Professor Nilesh Gandhare, Dr. Barzagade and their team for executing this task for the benefit of the uh, student fraternity. When uh, I remember when I was student, you know, at that time, hardly we get two days, three days of such type of lectures, lecture series. But you guys are very lucky that your college has organized such a wonderful knowledge oriented event okay definitely it will help you in your future endeavors so good luck guys uh, it's been an honor to be among such accomplished individuals and to be able to present my perspective before you all thank you and have a great uh, good day over to you dr nilesh gandhare thank you thank you so much Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. You uh, give a, such a nice address to our students. They will definitely uh, think about it and they will go uh, during their uh, vacations. They will definitely go and they think about it at least that they must go and they do some such, such sort of uh, the chemical trainings or the analytical trainings with uh, such national labs and the facilities we have in the Maharashtra. Thank you so much. Now, moving ahead. Uh, Ralph Emerson believed that the reward of a thing well done is having done it. However, we would be falling short of our duty if we do not recognize the thing well done and encourage it. May I now request, may I now request Dr. Nilesh Gandhari, convener and assistant professor, Department of Chemistry, Nabira Mahavidya Lekatol, render the acknowledgement, please, sir, over to you, sir. Dr. Thank you, Nilesh Gandhari. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, a warm good afternoon to one and all. Today, just we have completed 10 days national level lecture series, which is organized by postgraduate department of chemistry in association with IPC Navira Mahadele Kato. First, I would like to thank Honorable Dr. Raju Deshmukh, President of Shikshan Prasarak Mandal, and he always have been source of inspiration for us. I express my thanks to our chief guest of honor, as well as valedictory speaker, Dr. Parvez Ali, sir, guest speaker, Dr. Nilesh Ubemuge, sir, who accepted our invitation and delivered a graceful speech on this occasion. I am personally and on behalf of organizing committee, thankful to all eminent 10 guest speakers for their acknowledgeable and excellent presentation delivered here. I also thanks. I also express thanks to our principal, Dr. Yaske Navin, for guiding me, guiding us from time to time to make the national lecture series a grand success. I am also thankful to all the participants from various states of India and abroad for giving a warm response to the national lecture series. All the staff members of our college also need to be thanked because they did not leave unturned to make 
this national lecture series a grand success from bottom of my heart especially thanks to meshra ma'am more sir jadhav sir dadade sir borkar sir barsagde sir adil sir revatkar sir at last i give thanks to all those who have helped us directly or indirectly to make the national lecture series a grand success thank you or good day thank you sir ladies and gentlemen want to take your two minutes only we have now reached the end of the valedictory function want to say something to all of you there is an end to everything but we believe there is never an end but always a beginning everyone has talent what's rare is the courage to follow it if you are not prepared to be wrong you will never come up with an anything original so with this good words we all take your leave and hope we will meet in the future and stay safe and stay at home and stay healthy thank you very much thank namaskar you. thank you thanks thanks to all thank you all of you so we can end the meeting yes ma'am yes ma thank you everyone